Hello fellow beings welcome to the part 2 of the Jonathan story if you haven't watched the part 1 click the i button above or link in the description and also do subscribe to the channel so let's start we saw how Jonathan was casted out from his flock for violating the dignity and tradition of the gull family at present he is far off the hill all alone and he was sad not because he was casted out from his community but because they refused to believe that even seagulls can achieve the glory of high flights he however took this as an opportunity to learn more each day he learned to control his high speed dive and unlike other seagulls at the shore still struggling and fighting near boats among each other for every bite jonathan learned the art of catching a fish through his beak while it swam 10 feet below water and fly back high one evening while he was flying and practicing there appeared two girls whose flying skills matched exactly like that of jonathan's and they appeared as bright as starlight jonathan turned towards them and questioned who are you they replied we are your brothers jonathan we have come here to take you to higher home you have learned whatever you wanted your one school is finished and you'll be promoted to next one come with us jonathan followed them to the next world what they called as heaven as jonathan arrived here he saw that all girls here are far different from what he saw on earth every girl here thinks like he thinks all knew how to do high flights and their only motto is to learn more with every passing day here jonathan met sullivan he later became his coach with whom he practiced and learned all the flying techniques a seagull could ever imagine one evening as all other seagulls were away jonathan saw shiang the eldermost seagull who as was said will soon move to another world jonathan with all the courage went to him and asked shiang is this really heaven shiang smiled and replied there is no such place my son and he added you are fast jonathan you will begin to touch heaven the moment you touch perfect speed and perfection is about being there in the moment saying this shiang vanished and in a moment appeared 50 feet away jonathan was shocked he shouted how did you do that what does it feel like to do that please teach me shiang agreed and said the trick jonathan is to stop seeing yourself trapped in a limited body understand that you have unlimited potential after lots of practice and concentration jonathan finally achieved the mastery now he can travel from one place to another in a moment a month later shiang said that it is time for him to go from this world and before vanishing his last words to jonathan were keep working on love jonathan and he disappeared as the days passed jonathan time and again kept thinking about his flock on earth the only way he could give back love is to return to earth and teach the truth to others he finally said sullivan that he'll return to earth sullivan said why he replied maybe there is someone like me who is practicing daily and want to realize his true potential saying this he bid goodbye and left when jonathan returned to earth he saw exactly what he had predicted a seagull named fletcher was practicing the same way as once jonathan did jonathan went to him and asked do you want to learn your true potential and the art of flying fletcher in excitement said yes and then he became a student within next 3 months there were six more new students and they all practiced regularly with all their heart to fly high and achieve speed one day jonathan calls them and says i guess it's time for us to return back to our flock shocked others said it's against the rules we are outcasted he replied why follow rules when you are no more part of the flock all the seven seagulls along with jonathan flew back to the shore and started performing all the flying stunts they mastered many young seagulls were speechless when they realized that even seagulls can fly high and achieve speed from that day on jonathan and his seven students remained at the shore and continued their daily practice one month later a young girl approached them and asked if he too can join them then one more comes and says even he wants to fly high and similarly within no time there were thousands standing in front of them wanting to learn to fly and as time passed jonathan changed the entire scene of the gull community the seagull who was outcasted few years ago is now standing tall and is considered an idol among the youth a few days later jonathan called fletcher to him and said i guess my work is complete here and from now on you will lead all of them fletcher shocked and asked where are you going he said maybe somewhere some part of the universe there is another fletcher who is flying and diving and waiting to know his purpose so fletcher keep growing getting better and never limit yourself saying this jonathan slowly disappeared from his eyes and this concludes the story of jonathan livingston seagull there is a lot to learn from the story but i'll list down my personal three number 1 never give up we saw jonathan fall so many times but every time he got up and never gave up number 2 break the rules it's not mandatory to always follow the rules sometimes you need to go beyond them to understand what you can achieve and what not number 3 spread knowledge jonathan could have stayed back in heaven 
but he returned back for his society to show and teach them the truth. And this finished part 2 of the video. Hope you enjoyed the story. Do like and share and subscribe to Book Climber for more such videos. Bye bye.